Hello, everybody. This is Charles He from Ant Group. Today, I'm glad to share with you about fusion computing we built at Ant with Ray. First, I want to uh, introduce uh, Ant Group a little bit. Ant Group is a, 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 a technology company in China. It aims to create the infrastructure and platform to support the digital transformation of the service industry. We strive to enable all consumers and small businesses to have equal access to financial and other services that are inclusive, green, and sustainable. And Alipay is uh, one of our brands. Uh, it's China's largest mobile payment business operated by us. Alipay has grown through continuous innovation to serve approximately 1.3 billion users worldwide, together with its global uh, E-Onit partners. Uh, first, uh, as you may know, we have built a fusion engine with Ray. I have talked about this in uh, the Ray Summit last year. By saying fusion, we uh, break boundaries between different computing paradigms. For example, we have built dyna dynamic graph, online decision, machine learning, and for all of those uh, computing components or framework, like there are different model, modes uh, for that. And within uh, the framework, like different modes of computing can interact together. So basically, we fuse different type of computing together using uh, Ray as a core. And here is a, a brief uh, architect of the whole thing. We build everything on top of uh, Kubernetes. So basically, the whole cluster is running on top of Kubernetes. And uh, 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 recall is the main kind of image, or we run the main thing in the cluster. And then on top of that, we run different type of frameworks, like uh, 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 streaming graph, like uh, online machine learning, and the financial online decision. And then on top of these frameworks, uh, people can write business applications uh, uh, to serve their purpose. So all of these uh, frameworks uh, within that, the different mode, it's not a single mode type of uh, computing paradigm, but uh, it, in it include like streaming operation, it include a graph operation, it include like a training method, or like some uh, online decision. So all of, and all of these can uh, uh, exchange data, can communicate to each other and so on. So we call this a uh, fusion engine. Since last year, we have been pushing this effort uh, into production uh, at scale. And uh, uh, just to share some uh, status of you, uh, about it uh, inside the company. So we are supporting dozens of core businesses uh, inside the company, including like payment, including uh, uh, credit, including uh, uh, like online promotion and all this type of stuff. And the, for the computing uh, paradigms, we do offline computing and the near nine plus online computing and uh, including big data type of application graph and the uh, AI related stuff. Right now, the, to the whole cluster is about 200K uh, uh, CPU cores in production, and we are uh, uh, rapidly uh, expanding it. So uh, I think uh, it's, prob it's uh, probably the largest uh, rate cluster in the world so far in production. And we have uh, uh, improved recall in the following aspects because we want to push them in scale, uh, kind of at scale in production. Uh, for scalability, we can run 1,000 nodes and about 10,000 actors in a single cluster. And for performance, we basically have done uh, a throughput of 70,000 per second, and the latency is pretty good. And we also did lots of uh, scheduling stuff 
to uh, 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 guarantee the availability of the whole system. And we did lots of engineering work for us to maintain the cluster, to troubleshoot if there is any program, and so on and so forth. And here I want to introduce a, uh, another case uh, uh, which kind of uh, can utilize a race capability or not. In the scenario of payment routing, let's say uh, if we want to, if a user want to uh, make a payment, normally it need to choose a, a, a payment tool, a, a payment tools. Like in different scenario, they can use different payment tools. Uh, they can use their own uh, balance in the account, or they can use credit card, debit card, and so on. And then for uh, each payment, they need to, uh, each type of payment tools, they need to choose a payment network. There are thousands of payment network behind the payment tools. And for each payment uh, uh, network, finally, it goes to the uh, bank account and do the uh, 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 money transfer between the accounts. So in this scenario, our goal is to find the payment route with minimum overall cost. So this is typically an operational research program with the constraints of like, uh, we need to uh, uh, reach like maximum load per day per payment network with no transaction uh, per day per bank. So the challenge here is uh, accuracy. The overall cost division per day is pretty large. Like uh, uh, if you uh, make a different, like if you cannot optimize it, it means uh, billions of dollars uh, uh, for the company. And also uh, the latency is very important because for each uh, uh, transaction, uh, we need to finish it pretty quickly to return pretty quickly uh, uh, for the user to choose. We did this uh, uh, on top of Ray. And uh, you can see, basically, we need to do uh, uh, lots of uh, data computations before we can solve the problem. And all of those data computation is on top of Ray. And we also want to run the uh, uh, solver, like the typical or the, uh, 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 we change the open source a little bit, but uh, it's a typical solver. And then we run it on top of Ray. And then we need to do simulation for the decision in order to uh, kind of see uh, what is the uh, effect or what is the result of this type of uh, change. And then we, we need to monitor it online and so on and so forth. So basically, it's a pretty long uh, pipeline, you can say, and it, it involves uh, lots of different type of computations. And uh, in the traditional world, we have no good way to do this uh, because our uh, program is pretty large scale and the traditional solver cannot uh, uh, handle this uh, large set of data. And we kind of, transported all of these uh, things and built the whole system on top of Ray, and it has achieved a very good uh, result. For all of the experience we have uh, built on top of Ray, we found now uh, the compu computing world has been uh, developing through a direction of these uh, uh, things. First is customization. So normally we found uh, in our business is uh, becoming more and more difficult to find a, a, a typical uh, computing paradigm. Like many business requirements involves lots of uh, different type of customization for their business. Uh, it's really hard to uh, just model it in one way. And also we found the business will require uh, real-time online uh, computing more and more. So every decision need to be uh, uh, pretty much uh, real-time. And also uh, there are lots of different type of computing paradigms uh, for a single business requirement. Uh, that basically means if you use a different type or use a, 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 a 
computing engine for a specific uh, purpose, you might need uh, multiple uh, uh, computing engines for to build a system, which is pretty uh, difficult for the business. So that's why we think Ray is the best uh, distributing uh, distributing system uh, to build all of this business because we can build all of the uh, logic on top of a single cluster. And also we can do lots of fusion computing stuff to optimize that, uh, especially for the operations uh, across different type of computing mode. For that purpose, uh, we are, so to uh, emphasize it, so we are basically building Ray towards a unified uh, uh, computing foundation. Uh, we call it fusion computing at end. To achieve that goal, we are doing uh, more work on these uh, directions. So first is uh, we want to uh, improve or give the user a better experience to customize the business logic. That basically means simpler and more flexible distributed API, and we provide more common library such that they can build the uh, distributed application uh, easily. Second is the real time, we call it real time and online capability. So we are building lots of uh, uh, technologies on top of Ray to guarantee a higher online service stability or availability. So that basically means uh, uh, we can support lots of concurrent, concurrent requests. Uh, the, the cluster needs to be pretty stable and highly available across different data centers. And uh, for each request, the latency should be pretty low. And on top of that, we, uh, uh, we also build <clears throat> lots of opt optimizations through fused operations. Uh, basically, that means, uh, for example, for streaming and uh, machine learning stuff, we fuse them together to reduce data transfer. For uh, the operational research stuff, we fuse the uh, like monitoring, data processing, and uh, 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 operational research solvers uh, to kind of uh, reduce the uh, uh, the overload uh, among them. So. This we we think this will be a, a, a very a, a very good platform, and we are trying to build better support for uh, more and more data intensive applications like this. And we are trying to build a, a, a very larger scale cluster. So ideally, we want a majority of the business logic running uh, at end will be running on top of Ray, and uh, we think. That probably will be uh, uh, make the make the development for distributed uh, uh, logic on business uh, much simpler. If you are uh, interested in more details, uh, please uh, uh, go and check out the three more talks uh, uh, by us. So the first is building high availability and scalability online computing applications on Ray. And the second is improving Ray for large scale applications. And then we have a separate uh, talk for uh, the online resource allocation based on Ray. Yeah, that's all I want to share today. Thank you.